I want to share a story real quick. Today I got a, a, a harassed in the bathroom or something. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it, but I'm going to give y'all a tip. If you don't know, I'm going to share some game with you. So I'm in the bathroom. I'm at the urinal. Some dude walks in, says something. I look over and say, what's up? So like, he said something to me. I couldn't quite tell, but I look at him and he looked like severely disabled type of like walking kind of weird. Um. He just looked off, you know what I mean? So I get done at the urinal. I'm walking off and he says something else to me while I'm washing my hands. He's like talking. I look at him. He's like obviously not going to the restroom. So I was just like, what? And he says like, you want a little bit of something? I couldn't quite make out what he was saying. It, uh, I don't know. It was hardly English and I felt a little guilty. But in a moment like this, never just stop and ask. It doesn't fucking matter what he said. You know what I mean? So in my head, I'm like, I don't know if this guy means well. He looks like there's something off about him. Uh, but there's no reason for me to stop walking out of the bathroom because you want to talk to me in the bathroom. <laughs> like, I don't care what you're about to say. I was thinking in my head, like, stay the fuck over there. You know what I mean? I'm going to leave the bathroom, though. So I didn't ask him what he was saying more than once. He said he looked kind of flirty, like leaned in. I don't know what he wanted. Um, It was very awkward because on one hand, you don't want to be mean to somebody who might be disabled. On the other hand, don't fucking talk to me in a bathroom. And I don't owe anybody that. So, you know, a lot of people that watch this are skaters and they're younger people. You don't owe anybody that. If somebody is making you uncomfortable, I don't care what they're talking about, you can leave. You can tell them, hey man, I don't want to talk to you. You don't have to be nice at all. It does not matter what they want. It doesn't matter if they need help. Nobody needs help. That's a tip too. Like, They don't need your fucking help. Definitely not if they're an adult. If they're an adult, they definitely don't need your help. So, I don't know. I felt a little weird I was going to share that story, but also... When I was younger, I might have like asked, like, what? What do you like? I might have felt like I needed to be nice to him. But as an adult, don't fucking talk to me in the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I mean, so I'm going to watch Oscar Meza let it ride. Uh, he was in one of my old one of my favorite skate videos was called Skating in the Rain by Marquisa. Hold up, this seems a little bit out of frame. No, it's in frame. But, uh, yeah, he was in that old video. Everything was super slow mode. Everything looked clean. Um, go check out that video, too. It's a long video, so I'm not going to watch it. But I was looking it up, and, like, this came out four years ago. He posted. He's getting crazy. Just doesn't seem like it. it's getting the views it deserves. I don't know if this was... Let me read the description real quick. No, yeah, I think this is a new part, like fairly new, 2019. But he's getting bucked, dude. And I couldn't believe some of the gaps he's doing in this. Clean, clean stuff as well. So, I mean, this is a... That was a switch front side flip up that. Then a fat Smith front side flip out, like... Dude, heavy stuff, heavy stuff. If you don't know who Oscar Meza is, maybe you should. But to be honest, I hadn't watched him since that, uh, since I watched his old Skating in the Rain clip. That was interesting right there. Yeah, so he smithed on the second rail. That, I wonder... If it's easier to smith on the second rail. Probably know something I don't. I wouldn't even touch a rail like that. Oh, then he did a feeble the other way. Yeah, dude just has some crazy tricks, man. Proper tricks, too. Like, he ain't half-assing these, man. Massive switch flip. I don't know what to title this video. I'm sitting here thinking like, 
harass in the bathroom slash Oscar Meza. <laughs> I really think the tip of like, you don't have to ever stop and talk to somebody is a great tip for younger people to hear. Crazy, man. Switch front 360. Fat like that, man. See, this video looks older, though. So I'm not sure when it was filmed or anything. I don't, I don't have any more information than the description allows. But he's got some hammers, man. That's the thing, too. Like, he's not just doing these giant handrails. He's flipping into them. That's a whole nother level. That one's so sketchy to flip into, too. Like, having where you can get your foot stuck if you miss. Dude, no. You know what I think makes this video look a little aged as well? The skinny jeans. It just it just doesn't look like a new video. Like I would think this is 2014 or something, you know. I can't imagine ever doing a keep flip into a handrail. Or that massive drink. <laughs> Somebody, like, am I tripping? Was this part put out somewhere else? Because I'm looking at this, like, this has 8,000 views right now. Like, is, is this the most... It's got to be older. This guy said, how did I never see this insane? Either this is the most underrated video of all time, or, or I'm missing something and it was reposted, you know? So yeah, Oscar Meza, he has, he's got an Instagram. I think it's just Oscar Meza. Sick part. Definitely show some love if you if you need somebody else to follow online. Dude, throwing hammers. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, sorry if my weird story was a little weird, but it made me uncomfortable too. So it's not just y'all. <laughs>